Hi friends, welcome to the Marian Quiz. Today is the 11th of May. Welcome to the quiz brought to you by the Assumption Channel. Before we start, I would like to request you to like, share, and subscribe our channel. And so, here we go. Our first question, who defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in 1854? Pope Pius X, Pope Pius IX, Pope Paul VI, Pope Gregory XI. Let us try to find out. It's time, and the right answer is Pope Pius IX. Pope Pius IX defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. Our next question. Name the document that defined the Immaculate Conception. Mediator Dei, Lumen Gentium, Fulgens Corona, Ineffabilis Deus. Let us try to find out. Your time begins now. It's time. Did you get the answer? Let us see. And the right answer is ineffabilis deus. It means the ineffable God. So this document, ineffabilis deus, defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. Name the document that defined the Assumption of Mary. Munificentissimus Deus, Redemptoris Mater, Marialis Cultus, Mediator Dei. Among these four documents, which defined the Assumption of a Blessed Mother. Let us try to think. And the right answer is Munificentissimus Deus. So this document defined the Assumption of Mary. Munificentissimus Deus means the most bountiful God. Who defined the dogma of the Assumption of Mary? 1st November 1950. The options are Pope Leo XIII, Pope Pius IX, Pope Pius XII, Pope Pius IX. Can you guess the right answer? Let us take some time to think. It's time, and the right answer is Pope Pius XII. Which document of Vatican II deals with Our Lady? The options are Gaudium et Spes, Dei Barvu, Dignitatis Humanae, Lumen Gentium. Let us try to find out the right answer. Your time begins now. And the answer is Lumen Gentium. This document, Lumen Gentium, deals with Our Lady in Chapter 8. The next question. When was the first worldwide Marian year held in the church? The options are 
1854-1855, When was the first worldwide Marian year held in the church? Can you guess? Let us try. It's time. And the right answer is 1954-1955. The next question. When was the second Marian year in the history of the church? In the year 2000, 1980, 1987, 1990. Which is the right answer? Let us take time to find out. Your time begins now. And the right answer is 1987, during the time of Pope John Paul II. Name the oldest prayer to the Mother of God. The options are Salve Regina, Stabat Mater, Subtum Presidium, Regina Kaili. Among these, which is the oldest prayer addressed to the Mother of God? Do you know? Let us try to find out. It's time. Did you find out the answer? Don't worry. Let us see. And the right answer is Subtum Presidium. This is the prayer. In English, it is We Fly to Your Patronage. This is the oldest prayer to the Mother of God. The next question. Who is said to have composed the prayer, Hail Holy Queen? Options are Saint Alphonsus, Blessed Herman the Cripple, Saint Dominic, Saint Bernard. Let us try to find out the right answer. Your time begins now. And the right answer is Blessed Herman the Cripple. We are familiar with the rosary and with the scapular. And here we have a question. To whom did Our Lady give the scapular in the year 1251? The options are St. Louis de Montfort, St. Simon Stock, St. Francis, St. Dominic. Let us try to think. It is time. And the right answer is St. Simon Stock. Our Lady gave him the scapula in the year 1251. Before we end, we have here questions regarding the Immaculate Conception and the Assumption of Mary. The question is, what do you mean by Immaculate Conception? Immaculate Conception means Mary at her conception, was preserved immaculate from original sin in her mother's womb. What do you mean by Assumption of Mary? Assumption of Mary means Mary, 
After having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. So, we have seen the meaning of Immaculate Conception and the meaning of the Assumption of Mary. And now we have a question here. Which shrine of Our Lady is known as Lourdes of the East? Shrine of Our Lady of Belangani, Shrine of Our Lady of Madhu, Shrine of Our Lady of Lavang, Shrine of Our Lady of Akita. This question will not be answered here. It is for us to find out. Did you find out the right answer? If not, don't worry. You may take your time and write the answer in the comment section given below. Dear friends, we have come to the end of today's Marian quiz. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel so that we may come to know more about our Blessed Mother in this month of May. Thank you.